Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the mighty mini-tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, and look what Baxter Cycle has laid out for us today. It's a pretty nifty bike. It's a Royal Enfield Classic 350, but this one's got something a little different done to it. Maybe y'all can spot it right away. I have got the uh, same bike in the Stealth Black. This is the Halcyon Gray. My bike has totally black rims. This bike came with spoke wheels originally, but look at this. This has got the black rims with the milled surfaces. Doesn't that just look great? I think it makes the uh, area look, where the rim is, look airier, lighter. It makes the tire look larger. It makes the fender stand out more. I think it's just a really good add. The benefit of this is a little bit lighter weight and a tubeless tire. Now you don't have to have a tube in the tire. Baxter Cycle sells this as an option for your bike. If you have a 350 like this, they'll do that for you. They've got the rims in stock right now. The back one's the same way, by the way. Really nice touch. I love it. The other thing this bike has is the bags. Now Baxter's just got a pallet seven feet tall full of these kind of things. They've got them in OD green. This is, I think this is a black color. If you're interested in that, go to BaxterCycle.com and they can help you out. This motorcycle also has the larger foot tags and that's something I have on mine and I really appreciate that. So this bike is a 349cc, single overhead cam, single cylinder, air-cooled, oil-cooled engine. Puts out about 20 horsepower, about 20 foot-pounds of torque, I believe that's 27 newton meters. The engine is just a gem, they call it the J engine. I just love this, I've got one of these by the way. I bought mine about a month ago and I've got uh, about 3,500 miles on it now. So. The bike has a five-speed transmission, and one thing about the modern Royal Enfields is they have the best transmissions. This five-speed is a real gem. I just absolutely love it. The more I use it, the better it works. The bike itself has a 54.7-inch wheelbase. That's 1,389 millimeters. 6.7 inches of ground clearance. That's plenty of ground clearance. It's about 170 millimeters. It looks like a lot more than that, but you know, that's one thing about the Royal Enfields. They have plenty of ground clearance for sure. Seat height on this bike. 31.7 inches, that's 805 millimeters with the stock seat. Now this has a touring seat on it. I don't think it changes the height any, but uh, that's what I have on my Classic and I just love it. In the beginning it was a little firm, but I have grown to just, I really appreciate it, love the ribbing. Okay. Weight on a motorcycle like this is 430 pounds, wet. That's 195 kilograms. The center of gravity must be just way down here somewhere. It's just incredibly easy to push around, very maneuverable. It works very well in that sense. Uh, fuel capacity on this bike, 3.4 gallons, 13 liters. Tires on the uh, front are uh, 190-19, and that's with that new rim, isn't that gorgeous? And the rear is a 120-80-18. Seating on this bike is rather neutral. The uh, Meteor has forward controls. The Hunter version of the 350 has the rear set controls. This is kind of the center controls. I do like the large foot pegs. I have those of mine. Very large brake pedal. Your, Knees come out, slight downward angle, very straight down. Your heels are probably, the back of your heel is probably even with your knee. Very comfortable. You sit upright with a slight reach for the bars. The bars at first seem a little low, but they're actually, now that I've got miles on it, I think they're in the perfect spot. I really do like mine. The Hunter, the bars are farther forward. The Meteor, the bars are higher up and back farther. Moving on from the seating, the handling of the bike. Uh, we've talked about this before. In the garage, the bike is light, easy. Uh, when I go to my garage, this is the easiest bike to move around, the easiest bike to you know roll out, the easiest bike. When I want to go for an early morning ride, this is the one I hop on because it's the simplest one to go, you know, my 350 Classic. It's just very good. When you get uh, moving, 5 to 25 miles an hour, superb. And then around town, the little town I live in, or any town actually, it's just a, a great thing. Then when you hit the highway, the uh, two-lane blacktops, it just is a total joy, especially between 50 and 60 miles an hour. I had, uh, I put about 190 miles on mine the other day, and I just, I don't think I broke 60 miles an hour once. I just had all kinds of fun. I was going through the Lost Hills of Iowa, and it was just a pure joy. There's a kind of a zen to it. There's a guy that uh, from India that writes about that, and he talks about the rhythm of the engine matching the rhythm of the heart and the comfort of the bike and I think there's something to that with this motorcycle with this particular bike it's a it's a real thing as far as the interstate goes I try to stay off the interstate but if the wind's with me and I only have to go 10 miles or less I'll hop on the interstate with mine and uh, it'll go 75 it'll bounce off the uh, speed limiter so I don't like to do it I don't think it's a good idea but uh and if I'm going into the wind, I definitely don't do it. Beautiful motorcycle, just an absolute beautiful. Now this one, 
has probably got the prettiest of the paint, I would say, the Halcyon. They call this gray, but it's actually kind of a blue. But look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? I love everything about this. You know, the shape of the grips, the barrel-shaped grips, the shape of these levers is uh, something that you should come to the bike shop here, Baxter Cycle, and try. They, they Not only are they radius properly, but they're curved. You know, they, they, they just feel right. So, flash to pass, low beam, high beam, blinkers, horn. Over here we've got the uh, kill switch, run, start. This is the hazard lights, fuel, of course. Down here, and I've talked about this before, you know, the, it's, it's a very simplistic gauge, just speedo basically. Battery light, fuel light, ABS light. Let's do that again. Then down here, there's a fuel gauge. There's a trip meter, which is controlled by this button right here, information button. So if you watch right here, it'll say, it says odometer right now, ODO. Check it out. Trip one, trip two, Back to odometer. Oh, time, time. Back to odometer. One of the things people, I, one of the things I've complained about with this is that when you're riding the bike, you have to actually look down to see the gauge. And that is not only a complaint, but a benefit. That's also something I like about the bike. So I, uh, you know, when I'm riding, the bike will only go, you know, usually 65. You can really tell when you're going over 60. So when I'm riding, I don't have to look at the speedometer. I don't have to look down there. This all just kind of vanishes, you know. And it makes the ride much more enjoyable for some reason. But uh, as far as when you do have to look down, when I have my full face helmet down on, I have to actually tilt my head down to see it because the bottom of the helmet blocks the view. When I have my half helmet on or my three quarter helmet on, it's not a problem. Just a slight view. I want to show you these real quick. We call these tiger's eyes or pilot lights or whatever they want to call them. Aren't those cool? I just love it. I love the whole shape. You know, this is a one piece cassette right here. Just, you know, that is a solid chunk of aluminum cast aluminum. They uh, they could have made that out of plastic, but they didn't. And I really appreciate that. The forks are 41 millimeter. They're covered. I think the uh, amount of travel is 5.1 inches, which is 130 millimeters. The back has a uh, travel of about 4 inches, I believe, which is 102 millimeters, if I'm correct. This thing has the bags on it. Baxter Cycle just got a pallet full of these bags. So get online and get yourself some of those if you'd like them. I love the pegs. I've got these bags on my bike, by the way, and I just love them. The wider pegs are awesome. And this one has the rims, those milled rims, tubeless tire milled rims. And you can get that for your uh, classic. The other thing I get asked a lot with the larger foot pegs is, does it interfere with the shifter? I have not had that problem. I was originally gonna get the heel shifter option. I don't think I'm going to. And I have not adjusted my shifter up or down. A lot of people have talked about that. So I think it's a, it's a non-issue for me anyway. All right, my friends. Hey. Looks like the sun's coming out here. The weather's nice where you're at. Get your motorcycles out there and ride. Wahoo!